Okay, so here is my standard palette um, using nine colors, titanium white, cadmium yellow lemon, cadmium yellow light, cadmium red light, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, halo blue, and burnt umber. Basically, it's a two sets of each primary, yellows, two reds, and two blues. And this exercise is um, each of these colors lean towards the other color. So, or for example, each of these colors have a different colors in them. For example, this cadmium yellow lemon has a little bit of blue in it, so it leans towards green. This cadmium yellow light has a little bit of red in it, so it leans towards orange. Cadmium red light has a little bit of yellow, so it leans towards orange. This one has alizarin crimson, has both red and blue and yellow. So it's a darker version of this red and it's a grayer version. So it makes a nice purple color. Ultramarine blue, it has a red with the blue in it. So it's purple. Thalo blue, it's very saturated and it has a little bit of yellow in it. So it's a green blue. And burnt umber is basically all three primaries and it's a gray version of darker color. If you want to make the most saturated colors, you only need to mix two primaries. For example, you are mi mixing lemon, you're gonna need only two primaries, red, or, red and yellow. Either this yellow and this red, or this red, um, this yellow and this red. You need only two primaries. Or for, and same thing with the greens this blue and this yellow or either of these combinations. The next exercise we're gonna do is using the cadmium yellow light lemon and tailor blue. This makes a really saturated green because this one has a blue in it, this yellow, and this blue has a green in it. So it makes a really, really saturated green like an acid green but but if you mix this yellow with this blue ultramarine blue it makes it a little different green it's more like an olive green because this is a dull version of the blue and this one has a red so all these primary colors three primaries mixed together makes a grayer version of that color so if you make a color chart using these colors, using these two yellows, these two reds, and these two blues, you will have four sets of orange, four sets of greens, and four sets of purple. And in this exercise, I just wanted to demonstrate how colors change. So let's say you are mixing orange using these two colors, and you want to dull down the saturation because in reality, there's so many colors that you need to mix. So if I, I took cadmium yellow light and cadmium red light, and now I'm gonna add a tiny bit of ultramarine blue. It Now it's green, so I'm gonna take grab some more red, some more yellow. So automatically it reduces the saturation from this red to this unsaturated red. And if you keep adding if you keep adding more and more blue to it, it's gonna go darker and darker. Like that, see? Mixing uh, Thalo Blue and Cadmium Yellow Light, I may have a nice green, vibrant green but if I add a third primary to it, it's gonna dull down the saturation. Oh, it's now it's leaning towards red, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Thalo Blue. Thalo Blue is a very strong color, so you have to be careful when you mix it. There. So if you add the third primary, whether it's this red or this red, it's gonna reduce the saturation. And 
how if you keep adding the equal amount of red yellow and blue you will have a nice gray color For example this red and this blue and a little bit of white now it's leaning towards green so i may add a little bit of blue you always have to adjust your color based on what you are looking for and what you need to mix um, now it's more green so i'm gonna grab a little bit of red maybe some more blue and white so it's pretty gray Um, we mix this gray using cadmium yellow light, cadmium red light, and ultramarine blue. But we can also use cadmium yellow lemon, alizarin crimson, and thalo blue to mix the gray. Um, it's just another sets of red, yellow, and blue. You can, you just have to play around with your color. So if this is very, very vibrant because you'll Halo blue is a very saturated color. And I also like a lizard crimson. So just keep adjusting and keep mixing and see if you get the result. Some more white. I want to get the same gray as we get from the other uh, primaries. So um, whether you use this yellow or this red, um, you will get the result, but you just have to keep trying and keep mixing the colors. This is my handy dandy tool to clean my brushes and it has a little grade in them. Um, so I can just go inside and it takes all the paint down at the bottom and cleans my brush next to it i have a rag and i wipe clean my brush every time when i mix the color so if i'm going from light to dark i don't think i need to clean as much whereas i'm going from dark to light yes i have to have a clean brush um, in this exercise i want to show you um, this cup for example this is not just a plain blue color inside is like a lighter part the shadows hitting here so i want to show you how i'm going to mix the color for this blue so i'm going to always start with the saturated color which is this part here and in this case i see a lot of uh, turquoise blue so i'm going to grab some white and thalo blue it's very nice blue Halo blue is a very stainy color, so you have to be careful uh, when you are mixing it. And it can it cannot leave you uh, color from your brush, so you have to be careful how much uh, paint you take in your brush. So this is the color that I would use for the inside part. Now slowly the value is shifting from light to dark, so I will I will take. Um, this color and I always mix my colors next to each other so that I can compare in my palette before applying to onto my canvas so I'm gonna in order to change the color here I have to grab my third primary which is um, cadmium red light and see how these colors gonna change so I'm gonna grab a little bit of red and some white so automatically you can see the colors are changing. Now, if I have to make a really dark color, like the, the shadow part of the cup, I can grab more blue and more red and a little bit of yellow. And if it, if it leans towards green, I can always go back and grab some blue. So this will be basically my 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 painting process or color mixing process like going from light to dark and if i have to paint 
like a reflective light meaning something is next to the cup and it's reflecting its light onto the subject i may grab white and this red so it's really nice purple color so that's how i mix my colors and the last thing i do is the highlight so highlight is never a pure white it's a white plus the color so for example this is my lightest color of the object i'll just grab some of that color to make it a little bit of blue it's never a pure white it's a little bit of this color so see it's a blue but it's a it's a light blue color very light blue highlight and that will be that highlight in the cup here sometimes i add permanent rows in my palette when i'm painting flowers or other objects that has a purple or <clears throat> pink in them um, it makes a really nice purple when you mix with the ultramarine blue or thalo blue with white and all my colors are gambling brand each brand varies differently so if you have gamblin and vincent newton cadmium yellow light it will be different um, so you have to uh, compare what your brand colors are and how you come up with it uh, i want to show you um, how i mix my purples so if i have permanent rose mixed with the ultramarine blue it's a different kind of vibrant purple and, and if i add a little bit of white in it it's a really nice purple compared to my ultra cadmium red light cadmium red light and ultramarine blue it's a very dull dull purple because this blue this red has yellow in it and this blue has a red in it so all these three primaries mixed together makes a grayer version so look at how vibrant that is and how dull that is so you have to always check and see um, what colors are you mixing and how bright the colors you are looking for and i want to talk about uh, transparent colors translucent colors and opaque colors and um, some of these colors are translucent some of them are opaque when i say opaque meaning it has a texture in them it's thicker like heavy body colors um, Cadmium yellow light is a thicker color. Titanium white is a thicker color. Um, so anytime when you mix with the other colors, you get a really, you get more out of your colors. But when you mix alizarin crimson, it's a really thin color. You can basically see the bottom of your palette or canvas or whatever. It's very translucent. But if you mix with the ultramarine blue, which is also a translucent color, you get a really dark color out of it. So you don't need a color black color tube. You can mix any translucent color and you get out of it. And when I'm looking for a darker color, sometimes I add ultramarine blue and burnt umber, which makes a really, really nice dark color, like almost as if it's black. So, um, you can play around with your colors and see how it works and I think it's a it's a great way to start with the limited palette because it teaches you a lot more compared with 20 colors in your palette and you can always increase your colors as you go along.